We want to take you live now to Parkdale, where mayoral candidate Mitzi Hunter is making a campaign announcement. Let's listen in live. Churchill Collegiate and my friend Diane and I would often walk home together after school, and we would sometimes duck into the library. And it was always uh, that very calm place that we could do homework or just get a book. And uh, it's really always been a part of my life in community. And so I'm very thrilled today to uh, make this announcement and to talk about the investments that I will be making to the Toronto Public Library system by, by creating these wonderful spaces in our community. And uh, that's why today that I'm announcing a four-point plan for stronger libraries and better communities. Here are the four elements of this plan. One, we will create more youth community hubs in our public library system. I am announcing today that I will be adding 16 community youth hubs into our public library system, and that will increase the number to 40. These will be safe places for teens and for youth to hang out, to do homework, and of course, to get access to the internet. Number two, we will be increasing support for the most vulnerable. The most vulnerable in our city need to have safe, non-judgmental places that they can go in our city. So we are going to be building on our outreach program within the community library hubs. And by doing that, we will be doubling the street outreach programs and the supports that go with them from my five housing outreach program collaboration teams that is providing mental health and wraparound supports to those in need. Number three, we will also help to really to eliminate the digital divide. And this is, of course, uh, essential for anyone living in our modern society to have access to the internet. As mayor, I will be using our existing municipal assets to create ConnectTO, a municipal broadband network. We will also distribute 1,000 internet connectivity kits, including laptops, as well as hotspots each year. I will also double the senior digital literacy program to improve seniors' digital literacy and really to connect them online. And this is important in terms of reducing social isolation and loneliness for seniors. And finally, my fourth point is that we will be extending the Sunday service from 11 a.m. through to 5 p.m. This is six hours of additional library services in our communities. And that includes those that are not presently open on Sundays today. We will be making sure that those libraries are open and accessible for people who need them. Our seniors may want to gather with their friends at the library. Young people may want to do homework and uh, do research and just get that extra time in over the weekend. Families can take advantage of the programs together and uh, ensuring that everyone has access uh, during the non-work week hours. And as I mentioned to you, technology is essential to staying connected in a modern society. And our public libraries, uh, really one of the greatest services that they provide today is that connectivity and that internet access. And so by extending those Sunday hours, we're helping families, we're helping seniors, and we're helping youth to stay connected. Today, I'm announcing that we're going to be strengthening our public library system. I believe in public libraries. This is something that I accessed as I was growing up all the way through, from elementary to high school and even beyond. We can and should build on this incredible service that we already have in our city and offer everyone, young people, seniors, newcomers, refugees, and people on low income, this fabulous service. So this announcement really cuts to the essence of why I am running for mayor of Toronto. 
Toronto has to be a city that works for everyone, everywhere. Toronto has to be a place where a young person who needs to feel safe in, their, in the spaces in our community, a friendly face at, after school to do their homework and to do research, a senior who wants to join their friends in the library on a Sunday afternoon. This city has to work for everyone, everywhere. We all know this, yet we all sense that we're drifting and we have to stop that in our city. And that's why we need new approaches, a fresh set of eyes to deal with the issues of today and to prepare for tomorrow. That's why I think it is an advantage that I haven't been a city councillor or a chief of police, that I bring a fresh set of eyes and ideas to our city. I have been a leader in our community as the CEO of Civic Action, as the Chief Administrative Officer for Toronto Community Housing Corporation. I have the experience. I've been a cabinet minister for some of our largest portfolios like education. With fresh eyes and new solutions, we can ensure that Toronto is a city that works for everyone, everywhere. I also believe that we need to bring the outside in. You know, I am from Scarborough. I have very strong roots there. But every part of the city matters to me. We need a mayor that will represent the city, this, the entire city. Look at really, look at the current situation that we're seeing with the Ontario Science Centre. I think that really gives us an insight into what people think of our city. We need to stop sacrificing one part of the city for another. Stop taking away from neighbourhoods that really need it the most. They need more investments, not less. Add, don't subtract. We can build a city that works for everyone, but not by subtracting. That's a road to nowhere and it's unfair. So we need a city that works for everyone and that's why I am running for Mayor of Toronto. I'm happy to take your questions. Probably more staff. How do you plan on, on uh, funding all of this? Yeah, so I mean, we have one of the, the best library systems, certainly in North America, if not the world. Our public libraries are, are really very, very treasured community hubs in our, in our system. And uh, I have committed to providing a fully costed platform um, in the coming weeks. And so we will make sure that uh, that, that information is provided uh, well in advance of the June 26th election.